Hi all, I had an idea for another um, filter last night, which I thought I would implement this morning, and just for the fun of it, I was curious what it would do, and I thought it might encourage all of you to work on your filters. So this is a this filter does something very simple. It takes two images. Uh, these are two pictures of uh, structures I make in SketchUp and print on a 3D printer. Um, anyway, it'll take these two images, could be any images of anything, uh, and it will merge them. And how will it merge them? At each pixel location, and by the way, these pixels are, these images are exactly the same size in terms of uh, pixels across and pixels down. Um, at each pixel location, it will take the red, green, and blue values of each image, merge them, uh, sorry, average them, and create a, uh, a new image with <clears throat> that average. So let's take a look at the code for this. So here it is. Now, because we have two pictures, we have to pass in a picture. Um, so let's just look at that first. So here's the in picture tester, here's the code. So picture one, picture LS1 is a new picture <clears throat> made from the LS1 JPEG. And then I open that one. That's what you just saw. And then LS2, new picture LS2 JPEG. That's the second picture, which you just saw, right? And then I call merge and I pass with LS1 because um, it, it's a picture object, right? And I call it the merge method and I pass in LS2. And so let's go look at that. So that uh, that's how we get the two images in. So we make the two-dimensional array of pixel objects for each of those, LS1 and LS2. We do the things that I, most of the things that I was talking about yesterday are the similar. We get the length and width um, of the two-dimensional array. We, uh, I have integer variables for red, blue, and green. I have two pixel variables. Now I have a nested loop. And I'm going to look at every pixel and <coughs> of both pictures. And here I pull out the pixel at uh, LS1 row call and LS2 row call. So I have those references to those stored in these two pixel variables. Then I calculate a new red value by taking, by getting the red value at pixel one and the red value at pixel two. These are the pixels in the identical locations in both pictures. Then dividing by two. Same thing with blue, same thing with green. And then I reset on LS1. I set that particular <coughs> row and column position. I set its new color to equal to, to be equal to a new color that combines the red, green, and blue uh, values of the averaged pixels. Okay, that's it, real simple. Um, so let's just see what that looks like. So yeah, there's the, that's the merged picture, right? Here are the two original pictures, that one and that one. And here they are merged. That's kind of cool. Right? It's sort of weird, shadowy stuff. But um, yeah, so, um, you know, again, try to be creative in your use of, of, of in creating uh, your filters. Try to do some filters that really challenge you, right, to, in your coding to see, see which, if you can do some interesting things. The more you challenge yourself here and struggle through getting through that challenge, uh, the stronger your programming skills are going to be. All right? So that's it for now. Um, and I, if you need help with your filters, please let me know. Thanks. Bye.